What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys another 10 tweaks. So if you guys have been following my tweet videos, I think this is going to be my 6th one. And yeah, you can check them out at the end of the screen and also in the description. So yeah, the first tweak I want to show you guys is called Color My CC Modules. So if I bring down Control Center, you can see it has a different color right now. It's like pink or kind of purple. But if I go to Settings, you guys could actually scroll down and switch up the colors. So here it is right here. And this is everything. You could enable it and you could tap right here to, to change the colors. So if I want it like that, you could tweak it a little bit. Go back out here and basically just respring. And now when I swipe down after the respring, now you can see the color changes. So if you want to switch up the colors, that one is called color my CC module and then the other one is called spotlight less spotlight less basically removes the spotlight search on your device I mean there's settings that you could go in and set it up how you want but basically that's the gist of this whole hold on at the bottom where they at go in there you could enable it you could disable down gesture you could disable the right gesture and everywhere so however you want to set it up you set it up and you respring but then basically that's all it does it just remove the spotlight search and so no more spotlight search on your device you can't even scroll right or left or whatever that is so yeah that one is called spotlight less the other one is called tap tap respring so if I double tap the status bar Come on, it's kind of hard to do on the iPhone 10, but yeah, you just double tap the status bar and you could hit respring or you could hit yes or no if you want to respring. So that's basically just double tap the status bar. It's hard to do on the iPhone 10 because of the notch, but as you can see right there, it works. So the other one is called WA dart mode or WhatsApp dart mode. If I open up WhatsApp, let me open it up real quick without exposing anybody. You can see WhatsApp is in a dark mode right here. You could go right here. You could see everybody right there. And yeah, WhatsApp dark mode. And then the other one is called Luminous. Luminous is basically a dark mode for Snapchat. But for some reason, it won't work on my iPhone, on my iPhone 10. But I know it works for all the other devices. But I couldn't get it to work on my iPhone 10. So everything right here would be in dark mode. So yeah, that one is called. Luminous, I just wanted to show you guys that one because a lot of people like dark mode. And yeah, if you want to get dark mode for Snapchat, definitely check it out. And let me know if you get it to work on your iPhone 10. The other one is called Floating Dock XL. I first showed you Floating Dock, but this one is XL. This one is a little bit different. So as you can see, it basically gives you the dock of the iPad. If you look right there, you can see there's a little line right here. So all the, the four apps to the left is my apps that I have and my doc and all these is my recent apps you see I was in WhatsApp I was in settings and snapchat and they pop up right there so if I delete them out you can see the doc get bigger sometimes hard to press because they're so they're so small Well, yeah, that's basically how it works, guys. So I open up Spotify, close it. You can see it slides back up real nice and easy. If you want to delete the recent apps, you can delete them just like that. But sometimes it's hard to do, but as you can see right there, it does work. I mean, and I think when you're in apps, say so if I'm in settings, there should be a way so the app so the dock will like slide up just like that so you could actually slide up the dock from right there if you just do a little small little gesture it's kinda hard to do but just like that you could do it so yeah that one is called floating dock excel a little bit different from floating dock the one i showed you previously and then my other one is called av lock av lock basically 
uh, a Twitter or a media. So let me go to my Twitter real quick. Let's find one of my videos. And if I play it right up, here, this is Prince with ATP 101, and this is my third. It gives me the lock right there on the bottom. So usually that's not there, but basically I could lock it right here. I could lock the orienta orientation just like that. I mean, I could unlock it and it go back. But then it switches, but it won't switch back and forth. And this only works for media within like Twitter and all that stuff. If you go on YouTube, you won't see that there on like regular YouTube. This is just working through t Twitter. So yeah. That one is called AV Lock. And then the other one is called Hide Tab Pro. Hide Tab Pro, this one is for like phone calls. So if I, if you look at my at the bottom right here, you can see I only have my contacts and my keypad. So if I go to settings, I could find it right here. And I could basically hide anything. So I could hide my favorites, which I did, my voicemail, and also my recent tab. So if I want to get my favorite back and my voicemail, all I do is just tap on them right here. And you could set up however you want it to look. So I would set it up like that. Now hold up, let me respring. If I go to my phone. Now you can see I have the tabs back. So if you want to hide certain tabs in your phone, I mean, if you don't want anybody to see who you're calling and all that, you could hide your recent tab and all that kind of thing. So yeah, that one is called Hide Tab Pro. And then the other one is called Easy Power Option Module. So if I close this out, if I go to Control Center and I, I see that respring button right there, if I force touch on it, I get a lot more options. I get restart. Restart springboard, enter safe mode, restart device, or shutdown device. Just like that. So that's what this tweet does. It basically gives you a little bit more option within that little respring button right there. Add the respring button for a quick respring. But if you want more, you can force touch and you get these options right here. So that one is called Easy Power Option Module. And then my other one, my last one, is called No Notch. If you look up top, you can see the notch is gone. So that's all this tweet does, nothing to configure, just removes the notch from the top of your home screen. But when you're on the lock screen, you can see we still have the notch. But once it opens up, the notch is gone, just like that. And this might interfere with any tweet that you have that, that's in the status bar, at least for the iPhone 10. I mean, you wouldn't want a notch to be gone on any other iPhone, but yeah, it, it, it might interfere with any tweet that you have that uses the status bar for some reason so yeah usually if I double tap on my battery you're going to like low power mode and I also have the double tap for a respring that doesn't work once I install this tweak no notch but if you want to remove the notch and you find with all the, the downsides yeah definitely go ahead and do it it's Prince with ATP 101 rate comment subscribe peace thanks for watching